welcome to shoves classes today we are going to be continuing and doing much harder sums let's jump right to it in this question we need to determine the correctness or otherwise of the following assertion and reasoning the assertion here is that in the process of atp synthesis in the oxidative phosphorylation atp synthesis is not a part of electron transport chain on inner mitochondrial membrane reason atp synthesis is coupled to electron transport chain through proton motive force now let's see what the answer will be will it be a that both are true and r, r is the correct uh, reason for a b a and r are true but r is not the correct reason for a or c both are false or d a is false but r is true the answer will be number a the reason is that atp synthesis is not a part of the electron transport chain that is also known as etc because etc involves proteins that transfer electrons according to the redox potential atp synthesis works only when proton motive force is developed by this etc thus atp synthesis is coupled to electron transport chain that is etc through this proton motive force thus a and r are true and r is the correct reason for a now let's do another one now we here we have match the entries of group 1 and group 2 in group 1 we are given certain phenomenon and in group 2 we are given the name of the scientist who introduced or invented them let's check this out let's see with p dna replication this was demonstrated by meselson and style the dna replication is a semi conservative means of theory that is number 3 will be p now let's check out q that is genetic code har gobind khurana developed a chemical method for the synthesis of rna molecule with defined base com- combinations marcel nirenberg that is number 4 and khurana is the right answer thus 4 will be q marshall rembergs contribution was put forward by a cell free system of protein synthesis that helped in deciphering this genetic code r that is life on earth was put forward by stanley miller and harold urey's experiment which provided the theory for origin of life on earth and lastly dna as a genetic material is a famous one it was put forward by hershey and chase in 1952 the proof that dna is a genetic material that came from these experiments was actually put forward by these two people whose name is alfred hershey and martha chase thus in contributing to all this four we'll see the answers a b c d thus c is the answer that we need to give let's do another match the following we are given bacteria virus fungus and protozoa now we need to match 
them with their respective diseases in column 2. Now let's start off in a reverse manner. Let's first take anthrax. Anthrax is a bacterial infection caused by bacillus anthracis. Now we'll take rubella. Now rubella is a viral infection caused by the rubella virus. Thus the answer will be Q. Now we'll take fungus and clear the screen for you. Now I've written fungus here before because it's a very common phenomena that athlete's foot it's caused by a fungal infection type disease that is caused by trichophyton this is a very common disease that you find in nearly during the monsoons near wake season and when you play on the field Thus R is the answer to number 4 and lastly protozoa is caused by leishmaniasis that is caused by the parasite thus A is the answer that matches with all our answers. Now we are given an experiment and we need to find out what the next situation will be. In an experiment conducted in the dark, isolated chloroplasts are kept in buffer pH 4 at 4 degrees Celsius until their internal pH is equal to 4. Now they are transferred to a buffer of pH 8 and the adenosine diphosphate and the phosphate ions are added at the same time. Which of the following will happen? The answer is number D. This is because if isolated chloroplasts are allowed to equilibrate in pH level 4 for several hours until their internal pH also comes to this level and then they are transferred to a pH level along with ADP and PI adenosine triphosphate will be formed this ATP does not need light for its synthesis the proton gradient produced by the pH difference that is pH 4 and pH 8 supplies the driving force for phosphorylation and ATP are produced at a rapid rate. Now we have a sum on physics and maths. We have a sum on vectors. A line L parallel to the vector I cap plus J cap plus K cap passes to the point 1, 2 and 4 and meets the xy plane at point P. Now we need to calculate the distance between origin and P. Let's see how to do this. The equation of the line passing through 1, 2 and 4 and parallel to the vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap can be written as r equals to i cap plus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap plus lambda into i cap plus j cap plus k cap let us assume this as number 1 now the equation of the xy plane is r into k cap equals to 0 Let's assume this as question number, equation number 2. 
now putting the value of r from equation 1 to equation 2 we get i cap plus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap plus lambda into i cap plus j cap plus k cap into k equals to 0 which gives us 4 plus lambda equals to 0 or lambda equals to minus 4 therefore the point p is minus 3i minus 2j therefore the distance can be calculated between op equals to root over 3 whole square plus 2 whole square equals to root 13 and which is the answer to number d With this, we come to an end of another great video. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more such brilliant questions on biotech.